Welcome back folks, Cam with Raptor Tactical, here today to talk to you about the Raptor holster belt stabilizers. So I have these two uh, little drop leg extensions here, or the duty drop extensions, I should say. Uh, this one is an offering from G-Code, and then this one is an offering from Safariland. I'll hold these up so you can take a nice little look at them. So the whole idea behind the holster belt stabilizers is that perhaps you're using one of these and your belt is too thin, and this is just riding up and down, you know, when you're drawing your handgun, you know, you're pulling up and then the whole entire holster is coming up with it. And then you're like, okay, now the gun's out. This is something that we did to just, you know, you can add these into here and it just stabilizes it. So what you can do is you can measure your belt and then you can measure your slots. Okay. Figure out what the length is, see what you need. Then you can take one of these, right? And then you can see you have a nice little label here that tells you where the top is. If you can see that on the camera. Yep, nice little label that tells you where the top is there. And then we have a little ruler here so you know precisely the length that you're cutting it to. Okay, so you figure it out. You can see we've got one here that's already set up. Okay, and let's say I want to set up this one. To make this as boringly simple and idiot proof as possible, uh, we have a belt, we have an adapter, or the drop leg adapter, we have the stabilizers. This is a ruler, in case you didn't know. I don't know if kids are still taught how to use these these days. I don't even know if I remember how to use one, honestly. Let me just watch me make a fool of myself, right? Okay. So, I have a belt. Okay, this is a 1.75 inch belt. So now I know. Okay, yep, and then I have my length there. Now I see what I need to do. Okay, so there's the top. Depending on where you want to put it, top or bottom, it doesn't matter. Um, what you theoretically could do is cut the top off of one, use that one, and then you still have the bottom, so you could basically kill two birds with one stone with one of these if you wanted to. So we highly recommend using a razor blade to do this. Okay. Because with a knife, just might not be as precise. Uh, but this is made out of rubberized material, and then, of course, it's going to come in a set of two. I forgot to mention that, sorry. So now we're just going to go ahead and cut. That's one. And then I'll work off of the first one I did to determine the length of the next one. And then we'll cut you. And be careful when you're doing this, folks, okay? Because like, it's really, really easy to just slice yourself wide open. Funny story. A buddy of mine, when I was in the 82nd, we were being stupid privates of wrestling around. A buddy pulls out a knife. We're just playing. I go to disarm him. I disarm him. And in the process, I slice my pinky almost completely off. I spent uh, quite a considerable of time in Womack getting stitched back up. I was there till like 3 o'clock in the morning and then I had to go to PT again at 5 the next day. So, you don't want that to happen. Just be careful around knives. Okay? So there's that. Uh, hopefully I did that well. Let's find out. Moment of truth. Da -da 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 -da. I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to put this along the top. Okay, well. Okay, there we go. When you're doing this, I would recommend uh, putting in this side first, uh, the side closest away from the edge. So that'll give you a little bit of leverage to be pushing down instead of trying to fight up against the shape of your adapter. 12 seconds later. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, I'm sure our wonderful editing guy edited out me struggling to get those in there because it is a little bit difficult. I cannot lie to you, uh, but once they're in there, they're in there. Okay, so go ahead and put in the belt. And ha 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 ho, here we go. We got a winner winner chicken dinner here, folks. Okay. So now you can see how this retains this uh, 
duty drop in that one spot. Whereas if I hadn't used these, this is going to be flipping, flopping all over the place. And then when I draw my weapon, this is just going to be shifting on me so much to the point where I'm just driving myself insane. So add these little pieces, it stays in place. So these are going to come in two colors. We have black here and we have the coyote here. And then here going back on what we talked about uh, earlier, how, you know, you're going to get, you could theoretically get multiple uses out of these. Uh, you can see I still have quite a bit of material left, so I could probably get another two uses out of these um, and do another two additional duty drops. So folks, again, this was the Universal Belt Stabilizer from Raptor Tactical. Thanks for watching. All right, folks, that wraps up another video from Raptor Tactical. My name is Cam. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you folks would, hit that like button. Also, subscribe and share. And then additionally, turn on your notifications so you can stay up to speed when we have a new video that comes out. Also, if you would follow us on Instagram at Raptor Tactical LC, that would do us a great service. We would greatly appreciate your support. And as always, you can find this product as well as everything else we make right here in the great state of North Carolina at raptortactical.com. Thank you so much. Again, folks, my name is Cam with Raptor Tactical. Remember to evolve or die. Thank you very much, and you have a wonderful day.